Hello everyone, this is part 9 on how to make a shoot 'em up game in Scratch. In this video, I'll be adding a few more weapons for the player plane and begin working on an enemy boss plane. If you haven't seen parts 1 through 8 yet, check them out, links are in the description below. Anyways, let's get started. So currently, we have two weapons for the player plane. We have the single shot and the double shot. However, I want to add a few more weapons, so let's go do that. So in order to add more weapons that the player can upgrade to, we have to first go to the bullet sprite. And currently, we have our single shot and uh, double shot blocks. But I'm going to add another weapon upgrade. So I'm going to go to my blocks. And then I'll create a new one and call this uh, triple shot. So let's see. Um, similar to the double shot, we are going to have the two bullets shooting at the side. So I'm going to copy uh, this part of the double shot with the go to x minus 8. And then I'm going to also copy this part with the go to x plus 8. And these are the two left and right bullets. And uh, for these two left and right bullets, I'm not going to have them alternate shooting, like I currently have them in the double shot. So instead, for the triple shot, I think I want them to shoot at the same time. And so I don't need the set side to left and set side to right. So I'm going to take these out. And also the set side to left. All right. And since I want the left and right shots for the triple shot to shoot at the same time, I only need the player to wait after shooting both bullets. So I'm going to take out this wait player reload speed seconds. So I'm going to take that out. All right. And since this is a triple shot, I also want a bullet shooting from the middle. So I'm going to duplicate one of the go to X and create clones. So right click duplicate. And then for the middle shot, it's going to start in the center of the plane. So it's just going to be go to the X position of player plane. All right. And now we have our middle bullet. So I'm going to drag this before the wait player reload speed seconds. And now the player plane should shoot three bullets with two on the side and one in the middle. So I'm going to test it out. Um, I'm just going to make the player plane start with the triple shot. So I'm going to take the single shot out and then drag in the triple shot. So now if we click the green flag, the player should start with the triple shot like this. All right, cool. However, I think this doesn't look as good. Um, I sort of want the middle shot to be a bit ahead of the two side shots. So I'm going to go back to the bullet sprite. And then inside of the triple shot, I'm going to make the middle shot start at like uh, Y position plus 18. And I'm just going to reorganize this. Um, I'm going to put the middle shot in between these two like this. So it's just easier to understand that the player plane shoots the left shot because it's X position minus eight, and then middle shot because it's just the X position, and then the right shot, which is the X position plus eight. And now if we try it out, as you can see, the middle shot is a bit ahead of the two side shots. All right, cool. So now we have our triple shot. However, we're going to have to actually add this as a new weapon because currently we're just saying that the triple shot is the first weapon that the player has. However, before we add this weapon, I'm just going to create one more upgrade. So I'm going to create a new block and then I'm going to call this something like um, multi shot. And I want the player to be able to unlock this after the triple shot. So I'm going to click OK. All right. And with the multi shot, I sort of want two more bullets added to the triple shot that are shooting uh, slightly outward. So since the multi shot is going to be including the triple shot code, we can just drag this triple shot block inside of the multi shot. And uh, dragging this block is the same thing as just copying all the code from the triple shot and then putting it under the multi shot. So now that we have the triple shot inside of the multi shot code, I'm going to add two more bullets on the side. So I'm just going to copy one of the uh, go to XYs and create clone of myself. And then since I want two bullets even more on the side, I'm going to make this bullet spawn even more to the right of the player plane. So I'm going to say go to X position of player plane plus 16. And then for the Y position, I think that should be fine. And then I also want to have a bullet to the left. So I'm going to copy this one. 
and then have this one go to X position of player plane, minus 16. So let's go to operators, and then drag a minus operator, and then type in minus 16. All right, now let's drag this back, and then drag this triple shot block back inside of the multi-shot code. And then to try it out, let's just make the player plane start with the multi-shot. All right, and now if we try it out, as you can see, the player plane is shooting five bullets. However, I sort of want the two very outside bullets to um, angle a bit outwards because I don't think this looks that good. So I'm going to go back to the bullet and then make them turn a bit. So let's see. So an easy way to make the bullets rotate would just be going to the motion and then dragging a point and direction block and then changing the value in here and then dragging it right before it creates a clone. However, in this case, it's not going to work because when all of the bullet clones are created, they point in direction of the player plane. So I can't rotate the bullets like that. However, what I can do is create a new variable. And then I'm going to call this something like um, bullet direction offset. And that just means how much I'm going to change the bullet direction by. And I'm going to set this for, for this sprite only, and then click OK. All right. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the bullet direction offset to the direction of the player plane once the bullet clones are created. And that way, we can just change the bullet direction offset variable to change the direction that the bullet spawns. So I'm going to go to operators and then drag in plus operator. And then I'm going to add the direction of player plane to the bullet direction offset and then drag that back. And for the multi shot, I want the leftmost bullet to rotate a bit um, to the left when the player shoots it. So I'm going to go to variables and then drag a set bullet direction offset to negative five. And what that means is that when a bullet is created, it's going to rotate five degrees to the left. And now for the rightmost bullet, I'm going to make it rotate five degrees to the right, like this. And then for the rest of the three bullets in the middle, I don't want them to rotate. So inside of the triple shot, I'm just going to set the bullet direction offset to zero before creating those three bullets. And then that should be fine. And um, just to play it safe, I am also going to add a set bullet direction offset to zero in the single shot and also one in the double shot. All right. And now if I test it, the two bullets on the edge of the multi-shot should angle slightly, and they do. As you can see, the leftmost and the rightmost bullets both sort of angle outwards like that. And then, of course, in the middle, we have our triple shot. All right, cool. And now that we have our two new weapons, we have to add them to the game. So first off, the first thing we have to do when we add new weapons is to go to the player plane or whatever sprite that you use to set the max weapon level and then update it to however many weapons that we have total. So since I added two more weapons, the max weapon level is going to be four instead of two. And then inside of the bullets, um, let's see, we're going to have to update this part. And this is the part where the player plane shoots out the bullets. So when the game starts, the weapon level is going to be one, and then the player is going to have the single shot. So let's drag that. And then if weapon level is equal to two, the player is going to have the double shot. And then let's duplicate this. If else, if the weapon level is equal to three, then the player is going to have the triple shot. So let's add in the triple shot block. And then else, let's drag in if, if the weapon level is equal to four, then the player is going to have the multi shot. And that's going to be our max weapon level. So now we set the bullets and also the max weapon level variable. And the next part is going to the player weapon text and then going to costumes and adding the names for the two new weapons. So we have single shot, double shot, and then I'm going to right click duplicate this and change this one to triple shot. Okay. And then I'm going to position this a bit to make sure that it's aligned correctly. 
so like this. All right, I'm just looking over here to see if it's positioned correctly. So single shot, double shot, triple shot, okay. And then I'm gonna create one more and then call this one multi-shot. Okay, and then let me see if it's aligned correctly. All right, and that should be fine. So now we have our four weapon types. So single, double, triple, and multi. And now we are pretty much done with adding the weapons. So let's try it out. But first off, um, I'm gonna make it so that the player can't be able to lose the game. So I'm gonna disconnect this block. And now let's try it out. So the player's gonna start with the single shot. As you can see, the player plane shoots one bullet at a time. And then once we get five power-up points, the player should upgrade to double shot. So one more, all right. And double shot, as you can see, the player alternates shooting two bullets. And then now the player should upgrade to triple shot once the player collects two more power-up points, okay? So now triple shot, as you can see, the player shoots three bullets at a time. And then multi-shot, there we go. And that's the max level. All right, cool. So now we have four weapons. However, I sort of want to change up the PowerPoint requirements a bit. And I'm sort of thinking that the player should start off with three PowerPoints to upgrade to the next level, and then like six PowerPoints, and then 12. So I'm gonna go inside of the code of the PowerPoint display, and that's where it manages how many PowerPoints we need. And then I think every time the player upgrades a weapon level, I'm gonna double the amount of PowerPoints that the player is gonna need for the next weapon level. So once the player upgrades the weapon level to the next level, I'm gonna go to variables and then drag a set PowerPoints needed to PowerPoints needed and then operators and times two. All right, then let's drag that in. So now the player needs twice the amount of PowerPoints to upgrade to the next level every time. And now inside of the player plane, I think I'm gonna make the player start off with three PowerPoints needed in order to upgrade to the next weapon. And now I think this should be fine. So let's try it out. All right. So as you can see, the player plane needs three PowerPoints to upgrade to the double shot. So three PowerPoints, okay. All right, and now the player needs six PowerPoints to upgrade to the double shot, as you can see. And once we upgrade to the triple shot, then the player should, all right, cool. The player now needs 12 PowerPoints to upgrade to the multi-shot. So I think this works. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna go inside of the player plane and I'll reconnect the code just in case I forget in the future. And I think I sort of want the enemy planes to shoot a bit slower. Um, I might just make them create a clone of the enemy bullet every like 1.6 seconds, just to make the game a bit easier. So yeah, let's see how that feels. Um, now the player is able to take damage because I reconnected the code. And let's try it out. So all right, double shot, and then the player can be able to upgrade two more times. Let's see. Three more power-up points. All right, two more. And triple shot, nice. Okay, one more. And multi-shot, all right, cool. And that's the max weapon level. And yeah, nice. So I think we have the weapon system complete, but now we can finally start creating an enemy boss plane. So I'm gonna create a new sprite over here, and then I'm gonna call this enemy boss. And I'll begin drawing the boss plane.
All right, I'm finally done drawing the enemy boss plane, and that took a pretty long time, but I think it looks all right. Um, I'll drag it over here, and I might make this a bit larger, so maybe like set size to 120%, um, maybe 150. Actually, I might make it like 125%. Uh, yeah, I think this looks fine. So this is going to be the enemy boss plane in the game. But I'll be doing the code for the boss in the next few videos. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe too, if you haven't already. Since I just finished drawing the enemy boss plane, in the next video, I'll begin the coding for the boss plane movement and shooting and stuff like that. I also share this project on my Scratch profile, so check it out. Link is in the description below. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. See ya!